but you'll hear the rev limit of fourth gear. Yes, Brown, look at it continuing all the way through. Falconer, I think he's got him. And Anna he Richards has. spitting out. Bumper getting ripped off. Smoke everywhere. <laughs> Following through the 01 of the doors, the 04 champion showing the way. Hey, my name's Justin Root. I won the D1NZ Championship uh, way back in 2004, the second year that it was uh, that we ran it. Jairus Tamadi Farido, and I won the 2003 championship. My name's Adam Richards. Um, I won the D1NZ Drifting Championship in 2005. My name's Liam Burke, and I won the 2020 New Zealand Drifting Championship. So my name's Gaz Wider and uh, I've won the uh, D1NZ four times. Oh my god, there's so, there's so many great memories I've had through D1NZ. Oh, there's so many. There's a lot of great memories, a lot of good times with a lot of good friends. Uh, one of my best memories would be uh, probably winning for the fourth time. It was quite a challenging year, we blew a few motors. Actually lost my mum that year, which was really hard. Um, so to overcome all that and at the same time win the championship was pretty awesome so yeah it was just a tough year. When we used to compete it was just it was all based on fun it was just us having out there having fun and the competition side of it was kind of secondary to us just uh, having fun with our mates basically so and just getting to meet so many people. I, I guess it would be right in those early days more than likely that first championship for me the infancy of the sport in New Zealand was such a um, you know, a new thing and, and getting the opportunity to win the championship was quite, it was great, it was overwhelming, it was awesome. I mean certainly winning the championship was a highlight and there were lots of other wins and great times along the way but I, I guess winning the championship has got to be a highlight but yeah, there was a lot of fun times, we had a lot of fun. One of the biggest ones is, is battling some of my idols so I got to have a battle with uh, say Gaz Fanger, um, had some pretty epic epic battles along the way. So many, it's, it's, it's actually hard off the top of my head to sort of list them at the moment, but I had some awesome times. Um, the future of New Zealand drifting, I mean, it's pretty amazing. I've walked around the pits here tonight and I just seen so many new faces, especially in the pro sport class. Um, there's just a lot of keen dudes out there with amazing machinery and it's, it's it, there's just so many of them, you know? Um, trying to meet them all, I'll, I'll catch up with them tomorrow as well, but yeah, it's incredible how many young dudes there are that are just keen. Well, I would say to someone that's, that's coming into the sport and that's somewhat interested, just just dive into it, you know, commit and, um, and see if it's a fit for you. The biggest thing I think I learned, as far as just the simple going drifting and getting better at drifting, but if you can keep your vehicle relatively simple and reliable and you can just do lots of driving, you're going to be a better driver Get the seat time while you can. Grassroots is, is so much cheaper and you will learn so much more in your car while it's underpowered. Yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a wild ride and once you jump into it, um, the, hopefully the competition will bring the better out of you. It's just time and seat and, and anyone can do it if they're dedicated. So my advice is just start small and, and have fun. Kurt Whitaker, two-time champion for New Zealand. I never, never thought I'd hear you say that, Kenny, but uh, working, man, like this is, uh, to do it the second time is definitely the hardest, you know, and uh, take my hat off the gas, I don't know how he's done it four times, you know, but, uh, you know, you, you get hungry for it, once you've had it, you want it again, you know, you just, yeah, it's a dream come true again, you know, to win it once was, was the goal, but, you know, to come and do it again is um, unbelievable. Dan is a future champion in the making, so consistent, so strong. <laughs>
Armstrong, I won the 2017 and 2018 D1NZ Championship back to back. Fanger Dan here, I've won three D1NZ Championships over the last 20 years. Hey, I'm Darren Kelly, three time D1NZ Champion. Hey, I'm Carl Reuterman and I won the 2007 D1NZ Drift Championship. I remember one of the battles I had with Gaz Water, obviously. He's the goat, he's the man, the dude that we all look up to. I remember coming in there well over 200 k's. I think we cl got clocked at 207 k's, 206 k's. And it was just a blast uh, right next to this man, going as fast as we can um, at Pukekohe. Such a great track. Best memory in D1 um, would be uh, the Ford versus Holden battle with me and Shane Van Gisbergen you know, um, back when we were running the Commodore and and he was in the Rattler Falcon. It was it was just one of those moments, you know, like um, for me, loving V8 supercars and stuff like that and um, having him um, as an icon from that sport. Uh, so some of my favourite memories uh, would have to be getting to drive tracks like Pukekohe. Um, obviously winning the championships was a massive part of uh, my career within New Zealand, um, but driving tracks like Pukki and Bay Park and uh, custom stadiums and things that D1NZ has put on over the years has been pretty cool. Probably the biggest highlight for me was, I think it was the second round I ever did. We bet Fanger Dan at Pukekohe Racetrack, which was my home track. And I guess uh, Fanger was somebody that we really looked up to. He was kind of the man in drifting kind of thing. And I was, nobody really knew who I was. Um, just a small guy from Pukekohe. Yeah, so that, that was definitely, I think, one of the highlights for me. Yeah. The drifting uh, of New Zealand is it's phenomenal. The, the growth of it is, is massive. It, the grassroots side has really grown, I think, but it's just gonna keep progressing. There's so many guys out there that have so much passion and are so clever with making cars. It's gonna be huge, I think, where the sport will keep growing. It won't stop. I think I've been doing it for 11 years in competition now, and I was there for the, the 10th year anniversary, and that was like a big deal. And seeing how much it had changed from day one to, to 10 years and then how much now it's changed from 10 years to 20 is just mind-blowing and seeing the level of the cars the like the setup the knowledge the teams we were in a lot lower power cars and a lot uh, more racetracks so we were kind of using momentum and, and a little bit less power and man we see drifting's developed so much like now you're in stadiums with massive crowds kind of thing like a, the effort that D1NZ has gone through to build these purpose-built tracks it's it's changed so much so it's really exciting to see what it does in the future. <laughs>